What's up guys, this is Adam Gillespie with Rancent and Sweaty Cabs coming at you with yet another video. And in this one I'll be covering an article from the uh, Bounding into Comics about OneRing.net. I'll highlight a couple of specific comments from them. Actually, I'll just read their tweets. Uh, so OneRing.net took to Twitter and decided they would call a bunch of uh, Tolkien's genuine fans a bunch of uh, hateful, bigoted istophobes, saying, Listen, we've been dealing with homophobic comments for decades and it's still wrong. Whatever toxic arguments are being said now about the Lord of the Rings fandom and adaptations is the same trash that said Ian McKellen was the worst affront to Tolkien's legacy ever. Oh my gosh. And I guess I'm going to be reading every single one of OneRing.net's Twitter things like that because you have to be a soy piece of garbage to act like they're acting right now about the Tolkien fan base. Cogent, respectful debate on Tolkien is always welcome, but homophobic, racist, misogynistic trash is always a case for banning. It's not what Tolkien fandom is, wants, or welcomes. We used to be able to ban in the era of message boards and IRC, but in the era of social media. The platforms can't keep toxicity out of our community. We can mute and block, but that's only for this account's feed. Twitter is not a community simply because it lacks anti-troll tools. Nasty people still show up in replies because their toxic friends subtweeted us. If you still think Ian McKellen is the worst and that Catholic Tolkien, Catholic Tolkien, would never approved, I beg you to read more of Tolkien's books and letters. He was woke, stood against hate, embraced all cultures and life and fiction. It's why his books are translated in every language. So let me just let me just say this really quick. And I do apologize if I yell. I'll back up from the mic so I don't overload the microphone. In order for you to really believe that uh, 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 in, that wokeism is against hate, you have to completely disregard everything that the woke ideology and the woke mob does on a consistent basis, okay? The woke mob is constantly hating everyone who doesn't actively support them doing something. Like, I can say, look, I like Ian McKellen as an actor. He's a, he's a good actor. I think that he brought a lot to the role of Gandalf. I disagree with his sexual lifestyle, but I also, dis uh, but I also think he's one of the best actors that Hollywood has to offer. That's, those are not against each other. Those are not opposite ends of the spectrum. Look, I can, dis, I can disavow a lifestyle and support a man's acting career at the same time, okay? That's not, that's not cognitive dissonance or anything like that. Cognitive dissonance is when the woke mob actively thinks that they're the kind, respectful, and loving ones when they are actively calling for the death of all white men on a regular basis, Simply because of their skin color and because of their sexuality. You know, uh, conservatives, they're out there saying, hey, look, we don't want you to molest our children. We don't want homosexuality and, and any kind of sexuality, lesbianism, transgenderism, even straight stuff being taught to our kids in third grade or younger. And you automatically leap at the conservatives' throats saying, you're just a hateful bigot. You need to die. Calling for the death of, of political pundits simply because they have a different ideology than you. Simply because they don't share every single opinion as you. And even people in your woke atmosphere don't do something that you want them to do and you automatically call them a bigot and an istophobe. I mean, take a look at uh, the woman who wrote uh, Harry Potter. I forget her name because I don't really care about her. You know, but it, it, you, 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 got, you, you automatically attack all these people simply because... They share slightly different beliefs than you, or because of this or that. Whereas Tolkien actively, as a Catholic, he probably actively sought to save people, actively sought to press his uh, religion onto other people, and, and show them a saving grace, you know? Now, he is Catholic, so as a Christian, I don't necessarily believe that Catholicism leads to heaven. Uh, like, if you believe the traditions will save you, that's not accurate. As a Christian, it's literally you're saved by, uh, through faith, by grace alone. By grace through faith alone, I want to get the wording right. So uh, Catholicism, if you're hoping that tradition will get you to heaven, it's not going to happen. It's, it's Jesus Christ sacrificing himself for you selflessly and paying for your sins on the cross and you living for Christ on a regular basis. It's not, oh, I have to do the Eucharist and believe that the bread is literally turning to Jesus' flesh like Catholics do. Okay, so, so Tolkien probably wanted to save people and that's why he was a kind person. That, that's that's what they're referring to. It's not he was woke and he wanted a bunch of a bunch of weird transgender uh, 
child molesters to just party all day and night. And here we got more from these these OneRing.net whack jobs. If you think Ian McKellen gets a pass for whatever Amazon is doing is a disgrace to Tolkien, please think more on your personal bias before tweeting. Our block button is very active, and if you retweet and enable toxic voices in the name of free speech, you do not love Tolkien. Gives us some respect for performances beyond all expectations. First of all, just one more one more time. Shut up, OneRing.net. You're an idiot. Go home. You're drunk, okay? I can support Ian McKellen being a good actor and, and, and pulling off the role of Gandalf just fine, okay? But what Amazon is doing is actively destroying the story that Tolkien crafted. Actively manipulating the story to fit a woke agenda that was never there to begin with. Never there. That's what Amazon is doing. That's why people have a problem with it. That's why fans dislike what Amazon's pushing out. It's not because, oh, there's a black elf. No, it's because they're actively disregarding and disrespecting Tolkien's works. Disrespecting Tolkien's works in sense of the story, not based off of who they cast or what lifestyle the person they cast has outside of filming, okay? Ian McKellen being a gay guy has no effect on whether or not the story of Lord of the Rings was well written, okay? That's just, that's just a fact. That is a fact, and that is, it's so freaking simple. I don't understand why it is that people like this, a bunch of woke idiots like the OneRing.net, are actively trying to call everyone who understands that basic fact istophobes, okay? There are tons of Lord of the Rings fans who are totally fine with Ian McKellen being gay and actively support the homosexual agenda. I don't. Again, I'm a Christian. I don't support that lifestyle. But that doesn't mean I'm going to hate the actor or, or I'm going to hate the person uh, who plays the, the, the role of the character. Because it doesn't have an effect on the story. Now, if they openly had Gandalf having weird gay relationships with every hobbit that he saw, then yeah, that'd probably be a problem because that wasn't in the story. But that's, that's not what we're talking about. The story was great when it was written and adapted by, uh, uh, by, oh man, I'm blanking on the guy's name. Peter Jackson, Peter Jackson. Whereas it, it's... It's, it's being completely manipulated and, and, and twisted in this thing that it never was supposed to be by Amazon. That's why people have a problem with it. I don't, I'm not going to cover the rest of this article. It's basically just them talking about uh, uh, what, what Tolkien's actual thoughts were, opinions on why it is that uh, OneRing.net is wrong. And I don't want to have to rant for more than I already have. All right, This is already like an eight-minute long video, so I hope you guys did enjoy if you did, make sure to go give OneRing.net some hell, alright? Go give them some hell because they're a bunch of idiots. And uh, yeah, support me on YouTube as well. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment down below. I love seeing you guys engage in commentary. I love seeing the fellowship grow. Uh, and make sure to vote with your dollar. Don't give Amazon an ounce of money in support of anything they do in regards to this crap, okay? It's it's just, it's garbage, and it's it's gonna fail miserably, and I, and I can't wait to see them fail because they inject wokeism into something that doesn't need it. You know, if they injected conservatism into this, it would probably be an issue too because it's injecting politics into a story that doesn't have it, okay? Or doesn't need it, or not modern day politics at least. Also, Hit that subscribe button, okay? Hit that subscribe button. Uh, click that bell notification icon so that you're alerted to every time I upload. Uh, support me over on Rumble at Rancid, capital R-A-N-T-S-I-T. I leave a link in the description below. Uh, I'm also leaving a link to my Patreon in the, in the description below. So if you'd support me on Patreon as well, that'd be a huge help. In any case, though, I love you guys. I hope you have a great day and a great rest of the week.